Boasting one of the biggest points halls on the road to Singapore, the WTA Tour's Middle Eastern swing is hot property for all those with aspirations of a successful season. After a thrilling tournament in Dubai last time out, the competition moves to Doha this week for the 13th edition of the Qatar Total Open. And with five of the world's top 10 players competing in the capital, it's sure to be a memorable week. World number three and defending champion Simona Halep won't be featuring, however, the Romanian, a winner in Dubai last time out, withdrawing through injury. Uh, yeah, it's a tough moment for me because I really wanted to, to play here. It's an uh, you know, amazing tournament and the last year was the biggest title for me. Angelique Kerber's had a difficult couple of weeks, failing to make it past the round of 16 in each of her last two tournaments. But things didn't get any easier for her as she lined up against two-time Doha champ Victoria Azarenka. The world number 48's beaten Kerber in all three of their previous meetings. She set about extending that streak to four with a show of domination in the early stages. After reaching the latter parts of the draw in both Sydney and Brisbane in January, Kerber's season has taken a turn for the worse recently, and she continued to be outdone here. On a 10-match winning streak in Doha, Azarenka took the set to love, courtesy of a Kerber double fault. Having taken the top honours here in 2012 and 2013, the Belarusian missed this competition last year with a foot injury and she continued to look like she was making up for lost time in the second. Recording her fourth consecutive win over the German, Kerber unable to return yet another booming serve. As Arenka's love affair with Doha continues, this her 11th win in a row in the Qatari capital. It was a solid performance for me. It's a, definitely a good way to start the tournament. And uh, um, I felt like I was really doing um, doing really well in the first set, commending the game and really going for my shots. And that's what I'm trying to um, uh, continue to do and, and be more consistent with that. Venus Williams also has a special bond with this location. The seven-time Grand Slam champion took on Casey Delacqua, knowing that with victory at this tournament, she'd become the first WTA player to win two different competitions in Doha, following her triumph at the WTA finals here in 2008. But it was the Australian who looked the more likely to progress early on. The 30-year-old hasn't progressed past the round of 16 in any tournament she's featured in this year, but that didn't stop her taking the opener 6-3. Williams, a winner in Auckland in January, came back far stronger in the second though. The American demonstrating her quality as she yeah. levelled the scores, taking the set 6-2. And it would only get easier for her in the decider, Williams reeling off 12 of the last 14 games to secure what had once seemed an unlikely yeah, passage to round two in an hour and 34 minutes. Three, six, six, two, her six, reward one. for progression, meeting with Barbora Zalabova Stritzova. Lucy Safarova's coming off the back of two quarter-final losses to Karolina Pliskova in both Antwerp and Dubai. Australian Samantha Stosa was standing in her way here, but the Czech, one of four in the main draw, was able to take a tense opener in a tie-break. The world number 15's chasing a sixth Tour singles title, and with one step closer to that feat, the Stosa misfired. Safarova through to the second round, she'll face Ekaterina Makarova. Svetlana Kuznetsova, meanwhile, took the early initiative against Flavia Panetta. The Russians' only progression past the first round this year came in Dubai last week. She took the opener 6-3 in a bruising first set performance. The higher ranked of the two, world number 16 Panetta came roaring back in the second to level the scores. And her dominance carried through to the decider, the Italian blowing Kuznetsova away with a series of aggressive ground strokes. This backhand sealing her progression to the second round for just the second time this year. World number four Petra Kvitova, the tournament's top seed, is looking for a late run in this competition. The Czech suffered a third round defeat to Carla Suarez Navarro in Dubai and is determined to improve on that here. It's very open, a lot of uh, seeded players uh, felt. That's how it is. I mean, of course, it's uh, disappointing for all of us, for me as well, and uh, I will try to be better next time. And Caroline Wozniacki is keen to lift her first trophy of the year. A losing finalist at this tournament in 2011, the world number five is looking to go one better this time around. You know, I've won so many tournaments on the tour, and uh, it's always a goal to try and win every single one of them. And I've been in the finals here twice, so I'd like to make it one more step. So Tuesday's action sees Andrea Petkovic, champion in Antwerp earlier in the month, take on Kirsten Flipkins. 
Venus Williams faces Barbora Zalabova Stritsova in the sole round two matchup of the day. And Dubai finalist Karolina Pliskova lines up against Switzerland's Stephanie Vogel.